Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Imperator Rome as we continue our run as tiny little Lingonia over here. Do you guys remember from the last episode or two? This used to be us. We got a name change and stuff. <laughs> it's just, it's all sad. Oh, technically this is us as well, by the way. Sure. Yeah. I don't know if that there's any reason to have this over here. Yay, us. But it is us. Um... We're going to try and see if we can go after this purple guy up here. Kind of make moves up that direction, maybe. But uh, just trying to get bigger. Just trying to get something so we can potentially get back to the point where we can take out... Take our land back, <laughs> quite frankly. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so... It's almost funny now, but it's not. It's still too fresh in my mind. I tell by my shirt. This is still the same recording session of when I lost all that stuff. Very stupidly, but it's all right. It is what it is. All right, so we've got a researcher needed and scorn family Punichi. The Punichis, where are they at? Obsessive. They are not even on this list. Sorry, Punichis, you cannot have a job over here, apparently. We'll just grab the guy with the biggest guy on here. Punichis are just going to have to be scorned for a little bit, unless I can put them in one of these other spots. You guys have too many jobs. Any Punichis here? No. Do they even have anybody that can get a job? No. All their guys have jobs. Don't they? High Priest. Bodyguard. Oh, he's a chief. Didn't have that job, but he's the chief. Like, why do y'all feel like you need three jobs? Seriously. They don't have anybody, really. Oh, well. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Just had to give it a chance. Did they update their desire, their needs or whatever? I'm looking for government, not government. How do we see families again? I suddenly forget. Characters. There we go. Um, no, somehow they do have three jobs now. Wait, one of you guys is a researcher? I'm confused. Um, we'll go with the loyalty of the guy that's lower, I guess. Let's actually put them almost even with each other. Hey, we got a CB. Uh, we do have a scorn family. This is Galani. So do we have any Galanis? We do have a few. Galanis, right there. Um, so we have our CB now. Our manpower is getting back up there. Our military is still as puny as ever. Um, we're trying to get enough money to get some mercs, but obviously they're very expensive, so we got to be careful. We could probably bring the allies in on this war now. We could. They would join us. I wish we could see like military power and stuff. Um, the ledger. We look up Cheruskia. Cohorts. It's just overview. Is it say it's somewhere here? And then I war exhaustion. I don't think there's a place to see it. We can see a number of ships. But I don't think there's a place, unless I've just been blind before, which is possible. I don't think there's a place to see anything else. I mean, let's find Cheruskia anyway. Let's just see what we can see about them. There we go. So they are... They have no opinion of us. They're a local power. Cool, I guess. Same as us. Uh, their stability is 32, which ours is 42. So their stability is a little bit lower. They have some aggressive expansion. They don't have any war exhaustion. Rural heritage, mercantile stance, 22 territories, which is a decent number, a lot of population, and no ships. That's all we can see. We can't see anything about the military, unless there's somewhere else that we're supposed to be able to see military, and I am blind as a bat, which is always possible. Um, we may wait a little bit longer. Let's get it closer to 2,000 on the manpower. 
And we'll see. We're also still bleeding off a little bit more water exhaustion. Let's let that bleed off here for about another year, and then we'll probably go for the war. Can I get some more provinces? I mean, not without moving a whole bunch of pops and costing us a lot of money. If we had all of our military over here, I'd feel better about things. But the fact that these guys are just stuck over here, basically. It's possible we get some travel privileges through you. But I have a feeling they just hate us too much to care. Another omen. Um, do we want to keep up the manpower recovery at this point? I mean, if we're about to go to war, we probably should, right? I think if we let the manpower or the war exhaustion bleed off and we get the manpower above 2k, I think that'll be our double whammy of goodness to go after this. Plus, we'll have a little bit of money if we do need to bring in some mercs. But I'm hoping these two guys will basically take care of the war for us, quite frankly. Surreptitiously attempting to gain our support for a coup in Kantiashia. Kantiashia? Where is Kantiashia? Can I see your location somehow? Not really. All right, can we find it? Kantiashia. Oh, way over there. Wait, where? Oh, it's over here. It's on England. Okay. Sure. Let's get a friend over in England. <laughs> Comex. That's a lot of loyalty to lose. Oh my. It's less loyalty, but we gained some corrupt. Oh, he gained some corruption. Okay, we're gonna do that because I can't. I can't lose that much loyalty for somebody. All right, war exhaustion's burned off. Hey, they're happy with us. We're happy with them. We have a truce for a long time. Okay, are they actually a thing now? They are a thing. Well, they're still just a revolt, actually. There, there, now they're a thing again. I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, so we're above 2K, we're at low. Um. Yeah. Any way to get more? Like, this is all population-based, isn't it? I really wish this guy over here didn't exist. The fact that he heals, like, half of our troops, basically. I mean, we've got we've to go for something, right? Like, we've, we've got to be aggressive here to even get a, have a fighting chance of getting back to anything. Oh, you're not going to come in now. Why? War balance? Apparently the war balance is against us all of a sudden. That's not good. Okay, well then we'll wait. That's very unfortunate. Well, I need to start, keep doing, if we're going to, if we don't have any war right now, we've got to keep trying to get land somewhere. I like to work my way over to the horses right here. Get those back into our mix. So this thing needs to get more pops. We'll just start continue to balancing out from other places that have a lot of pops. I mean, it's cost us money, but I feel like it's hopefully going to gain us money in the long run. All right, there we go. Now we got enough to grab this to get us some horses. Try that. Hey, maybe we can work our way down to this little tiny bit. Maybe that's somebody we can go after. I feel like we've got the money, which we do. 
We should be doing some pretty aggressive expansion over here. Give us more wood, which is more local manpower. So this might be another good province to go after. So who's closest? You're actually only seven. So you only need one more from somewhere. I mean, it's probably hurting us in these other provinces, but... Oh, you just did. That's right. It's okay. We'll already have the people ready to go once, once it comes up. All right, we're going back up to higher speed then, because apparently this is not happening. What is going on here? Who is this? Angravaria. Oh, way up there. All right. Well, they're dealing with some war right now, currently. We don't mean need military access right now. We're not doing anything. I mean, are we able to see their military now? This is Truskia's military, right? And their ally, Marcomonio or whatever, who is... Isn't one of the guys up here? No. Marcomamnia. I have no idea where your stuff's coming from. Okay, well, let's search for it then. I was trying to avoid, so I thought it would be close. Mark. Marcomania. What? In a province? Oh, right there. There he is. Okay, fair enough. They actually have a lot of troops. Looks like Truskia is potentially going to win that one. Inflammation. Was it August? I think we can go after this. Oh, we can demand payment to the demand a payment to the territory. Demand his resignation, which is not great. Get him some loyalty, but lose some popularity. I think we'll take that. It feels like the less of all the evils. August twenty second. So. I was going to say, it's going to pop up and say that we can do it, right? Oh, we can go in one of these two places. Um, livestock or wood. Let's go for the wood, I think. Although technically this one's already got three pops. Which feels like makes it a better province. Some furs or some woad. Like, it does feel like this is a better province, right? Because it's got more pops right now. Just better bang for our money. Let's go that route then. I got nothing else to justify any other reason, so we'll try that. Wow, you're at six. All right. While we're sitting here thinking, let's. What other province? I mean, you're still at seven. Like, we could still. And we have to wait another year, but it's really not that much to move from you. Well, let's move another pop to you. Let's plan on doing this here in, what is it? Uh, another year, I guess? Sure. We get a province every year. We'll grow. We'll get there. It's depressed. Definitely have to get Devonia. Devona over here, though. That looks like a nice province. A lot of people. Oh, hello. Who are you? And why are you expanding like crazy all of a sudden? Did you... Oh, you broke off from Cheruskia, maybe? Wait. That's a lot of settlements that just blew up. Unexpectedly. Do we have a... We just have strong superiority against you, and it's bad war balance still. So... It's fabricated claim against you as well. But we lost this plot spot. That's unfortunate. That means we can only go out for one of these three. Let's move them to here because this is going to have the most options. And we're going to start moving from this guy that has eight. Cost us a lot of money, but I feel like we've got to keep growing somehow. Okay. 
gives us seven. I guess we'll grab one more. And that means we can go ahead and colonize, right? Or not? Why can't we colonize? Oh, it's Dominiculture is not integrated. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was highlighted like like somebody had uh, taken this. Um, all right, let's pause for a second. Let's slow down. I apparently can't go to any of these because none of these are dominant culture. It's not integrated. So what is the dominant culture here? Trevarian. Avestian, Trevarian, Avestian. So maybe we need to integrate one of these cultures. Wait, it is integrated. Bergium, dominant culture, is not integrated. How's Bergium your dominant culture? Bergium? Oh, no, here the dominant culture is not. Oh, Helvetian. I was misreading that. So Helvetia needs to be integrated. Fair enough. I see what's happening now then. Do we have... If we moved more Trevarians over, it would actually fix this. I, did, I was actually wondering if that made a difference, and it does. I see now. Let's move us some Trevarians over. Now it's Trevarian. Now we could go for it. That makes more sense. You're at 6 of 12, you're at 5 of 12, 4 of 12, 7 of 12? Sounds like the 7 of 12 is the best here. Assuming population makes some difference, which it usually does, but I don't know for sure. All right, um, let's just grab you and invite the league from Sorbonia. You want us to invite it to your league. Who is in your league? Oh, we don't have a league yet. It's a defensive league. I kind of want to go after you, though, so no, we're going to ignore that. So technically, we could go after Savatia here, right? They're in a defensive league, though. So, probably not super helpful. So I can't believe this is, like, bad war balance somehow. Unless it's bad war balance because we're not strong enough or something weird. I don't know. All right, let's keep growing, I suppose. Oh, you're at nine. Trevarian, nine. You just can't go again for another year, so. You're at eight. But you're Helvetian. So, it does not help us. When can you go? April 2nd. Right, let's go back up to higher speed. All right. Um, people becoming friends. We can get some more popular prominence. Yeah, we'll be friends. Why not? Hey, a baby's born. I don't like any of these. Oof, it was like the least bad one. Banana? I mean, we can't, we can't let you exist that close without calling you banana. Sorry, dude. Sorry, little baby. You are now banana. Our ruler, future ruler, maybe? Or is he current? Certainly he's not currently ruler, is he? Where is our... Always forget how to get to the ruler screen. Government. Nah. Um. See the baby in here somewhere? There he is. Children. Banana. Banana Galana. 
Oh my goodness, I did not see his last name. Banana Galena. That is amazing. Best thing to happen today. Um, Sorbonia is just all over the place here. Still don't get this war balance thing. Again, unless it has to do with the fact that they are too strong compared to us or something weird like that. Hey, we're up to six pops here now. On that, that feels pretty good. Was it April that we're looking for? There it is. Uh, we want to go to Devona, right? Yes. Hey, we look like a little dinosaur or something. Or camel, maybe. Here's its head, here's its hump, two legs. All right, so we have a CB now. Still a superiority or war balance thing. Which I really wish I understood. Did they let us do show superiority? They would not. So neither, neither one. It's just literally just straight up war altogether. All right, what's our next target over here? Oh, Owen. We are capped out our manpower, so we don't need that anymore. Tyranny's fine, so it's really one of these other two. Citizen output or pop assimilation. Let's just take citizen output. It's helping us get money to continue to grow over here. Battles unassigned. Lack of governor. One little thing, huh? Someone with low corruption, decent otherwise. All right, sounds good. Next over here would be, there's a four, there's a five and a four. So the five would be probably good. This is Traverian. You just get one guy here, we can we can go from here then. Probably want to keep it as Traverian, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. And that means we can go ahead and grab this. Still a camel. Somebody was murdered. Murder. All right. Uh, four, one, four, four. Anything else over here that's like relatively large and in charge? Um, there's a six up there. It's way up there. Plutonia. Honestly, probably just grab this one. Cut these guys off from expanding further down, if, if nothing else. So probably needs to come from either Devonia or Nariskia. Can we move some Traverians over here to make you Traverian now? Not yet. Which Traverians do we got to move? There we go. Now we're Trevarian. I mean, maybe this is all really bad ideas of how we're doing this, but I feel like just getting bigger and making sure we're prominent in some form or fashion. Another defensive league call from Sorbonia. I don't want you to be my in a defensive league with you, buddy. I kind of want to take you out in a little bit. Hey, we've got another army now. Yay. Any chances? They would go to war with us now. Finally. They have Teutonia, which is this tiny little guy right here. And they have a, they have a lot of little provinces here and there. But I feel like this is much more, much more better. -er. Um, I could also not go after this one. It's still war balance. Okay, so I think we've got to go after this guy. We've got to push something here, right? We've got to keep pushing to grow, to get bigger, to get better. Like, this is a scramble, is what I'm kind of thinking of this as. Like, we're trying to scramble to establish ourselves for, like, all this land gets settled, things get settled, and it's just impossible for us to do anything else. So, we've got to be careful, because obviously, you know, if we do stupid things, then the wars can go completely against us, as we've already seen. But I feel like if we can call in both of our allies here, and he's got a teeny tiny ally here. 
Hey, Synonia. That was my last time I played through this game. I played as Synonia. It's pretty cool. They actually, I had them pretty big too, I think. I had them like all of this, if I remember right. It'd be fun to work our way back up to them again, actually. All right, we're going to do this. Take Chadia, which is... Like this section over here, right? Yeah. This stuff over here. Let's go for it. We've got to be aggressive here. All right, on that note of... Oh, well, I haven't actually raised my armor yet, so thank you for telling me. Uh, on that note of declaring war, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, can we take some land from Sorbonia and start to continue to grow and reestablish ourselves after some silliness? <laughs> we'll find out next time. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.